So I just figured out how to create my own customizable email signature within Canva like this one that is clickable. And so I wanted to share with you how to make it because it is super simple to do. Super simple. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm in my Canva, I'm gonna go ahead and create a design and I'm gonna use a custom size with 1920 being the width and 500 being the height. You can make this however you want, like the size. This is just what I'm gonna start with. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create a new design. Now I want this to be the top section of my signature. So I want there to be my picture, I want there to be my name, maybe my title, a website, something like that. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to add a picture. So I'm gonna to go to elements and I'm gonna scroll down or you can search for frames. My circle frame is always right there. Then I'm gonna get my selfies that I have. Perfect. And then we can resize this to make it fit better. I'm gonna put this over on the left-hand side. I'm gonna add my name. Then we'll resize this to fit that canvas size. We wanna change the color we can. Uh, we'll do pink. And then I'm gonna add some other text. So I wanna make that capitalized, maybe bolded, and then we're going to kind of pull the letters apart a little bit just to take up more space. And then I can also, we'll copy and paste this and we'll make this my website as well. Now, something else that I can do is I can come back over here to elements and I can search for click or arrow or whatever you want to choose. Um, I kind of like this one with the burst on it. If you want to change the color, you can. I think this is good though. And I'm gonna move that right over here so that people know, hey, you can click right here to get to my website. I'm gonna move this over a little bit just to make it in the center. Okay, so here is the main part of my email signature. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'm gonna download it. And I'm gonna download it as a transparent background just in case people open up their email and it's in the dark mode. So do transparent, we'll do download. Good deal. Now I'm gonna go back home and now I want to create little links that they can click underneath. So like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, I want them to be able to click different ones like that. For this, I need them to be small, tiny. So I'm gonna do a 50 by 50. And then over on the left-hand side, you can choose elements or you can choose circle squares. You could choose this however you wanna do it. And then I'm gonna search for Facebook. Go ahead and use this square one. If you wanna use the rounded ones, you can. Um, if you want them to be uniform, as of right now, um, Instagram does not have a round one. So this way they will all be uniform, looking the same. Good deal. I'm just gonna do these three just for this video. And then we're going to download transparent background just so there's no white around the corners. We're gonna download that. Now I'm gonna head over to my Gmail. So from here, I'm gonna click on the gear in the top right. We want to see all settings. Then I'm gonna scroll down to where my signature is. Perfect, I'm gonna create a new one. We're gonna call this one video. Great, so now all we have to do is just bring in those images. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the insert image option and we're going to choose to upload and my downloaded image is just right here. But if you wanna select the file from your device, that might be best. So here it is, you can see it's pretty large. All you have to do is just click on it and then you can see it gives you options, small. Small is a little too small. So medium, large, large looks like it's going to be great. So from here, I can highlight this image and then I can click right behind here, there's a little link button. And so from here, I can add in my website. So then I'm just gonna return down and I might do it twice to give some space. Now we're going to click down below in the same process. I'm going to insert the image. We'll choose upload. You can only do one at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Facebook first. That is a perfect size. I'm going to go ahead and do some spaces. Then we'll choose YouTube deal. Then a couple of spaces and then we will choose Instagram. And there we have it. So from here, all we need to do is just highlight each image and then we can link. I'm just gonna copy this because it's pretty much the same for all. And so now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you set your signature defaults to be that signature. So right now it's on Canva V1. So if we want it to be video, we need to change it to video. 
we'll scroll down, we'll save changes, deal. So let's compose. And there is our clickable signature. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about creating your own clickable email signature within Canva, please let me know and I'll see you next time.